In this video, I am going to show you step by step how to convert any image into an amazing artwork using an AI art generator. You can also sell this artwork as an NFT, and the best part is that you can do this for free. So, let's not waste any more time and get started. So, the first step for converting an image into NFT art using the AI art generator is to head over to this site. I will add a link to this page in the description below to make it easier for you to go to this website. Now, this is a Google Collab website, and what it does is it allow us to run certain Python scripts. So, in this video, we are going to run this Python script in order to convert an image to a beautiful artwork. This Python script was originally created by Catherine Croson. She is the person who wrote this script so that we can create amazing AI arts using it. A big shout out to her for this amazing work. Now, we will have to run all these code blocks in order to convert our image into beautiful art. All you have to do is to click on this small run icon right here and that particular code block will start executing the script in it. Now, let's run the first code block right here. It will take a couple of seconds for it to finish the process. Let's wait till it finishes. After it has finished executing, let's move on to the next code block. When we run this code block, all the required Python packages for creating the AI art will be downloaded. It will take a few minutes to finish downloading all the required packages, so we will have to wait till it finishes downloading all the files. When it finishes downloading the files, you can see a small green tick appearing before the run icon. While it is running the script, I just want to mention that I have created an entire playlist of videos explaining different ways to create NFT arts and also how to sell them for free. So if you want to, then go check those videos out by clicking over here or going to the playlist section on my channel page. So after downloading the Python packages, now we will have to choose a model from this list to download. Each one of these models generate a different type of artwork. You can try them all out and choose the one that you like the most. I am just going with this model as it produces some of the best results. Choose the model you like and then click on this run icon to run the code block. Now, let's wait a couple of minutes until the model that we chose gets downloaded. After the model that you chose gets downloaded, let's move on to the next step which is to download all the necessary libraries for the neural network. Let's run this code block too, and we are almost done. This will also take a couple of minutes, so let's wait till it finishes downloading the libraries. We have finished downloading all the necessary libraries for the neural network. Now, let's move on to the next step, which is the most important part of this video. But before that, you can just read all the instructions given under this heading to get an understanding of what you can change in the next code block. After reading it, Let's move to this code block. Here you will have to give all the information about the art that you want to create. Let's start with this input field. Enter a brief description of what you want your art to look like in here. I am going to enter a prompt here so that the AI will create a great image for me. Now you can change the dimensions of your artwork, but make sure that the height and width do not exceed the max size of 500 pixels. Anything below 500 by 500 pixels is fine. After entering the dimensions of the image, choose whichever model you want to create your NFT art with. I am leaving it like this only, as it is the model I choose to download. You should make sure that you have selected the right model before continuing to the next step. Now, you will have to select after how many iterations you want the program to give you a preview image of the artwork. So, how this works is, after you set the program to run, every time it reaches a specific number of iterations, the program will give an output image of the artwork. You can let it run for thousands of iterations if you want, and when you are satisfied by the output image you can just stop it. The program will give you an output image every time it completes a certain number of iterations. I am going to set it to give an output image every 50 iterations. After entering the number of iterations, let's move on to the next step. This is the most important part of this video. For this step, you will need to have an image to upload as the initial image, so that the AI art generator can create beautiful art from it. I have already downloaded an image from Google for this video. 
Also, make sure that the image is under 500 by 500 pixels, because if it is bigger than that, then the art generator will automatically resize and stretch your image to 500 by 500 pixels. If your image is more than 500 by 500 pixels, then you can also resize it to 500 by 500 pixels or below using online tools. Now, click on this folder icon right here and you could see all these files in there. Now, right-click over here and click on Upload. Now, select the image that you want to upload to this Google Collab Notebook and then click Open. As you could see, the image has been uploaded to this Google Collab Notebook. Now, click on this icon right here that appears when you hover your mouse over this area and click on the Copy Path option from this list. After that, paste the path that you just copied in the text box next to Initial Image. That's it. You can also change the rest of the parameters if you want, but we don't need to do all that for this video, so I am just skipping it. Now, run this code block by clicking on the Run icon. After that, we can move on to the next code block. Run this code block also by clicking on the Run icon and wait for a couple of minutes and the art generator will start creating amazing art using the image that you uploaded. Now, this process is going to take some time, so we will have to wait till we get a satisfying output. You can see how many iterations it has completed by looking over here. When it reaches 50 iterations, it will produce an output image for you, then it will produce an image at 100 iterations, and so on. You can let it run for hours if you want. As time passes, the image only gets more detailed, so you don't have to get worried about the quality of the image. When you are satisfied with the output image, just right-click on the image and then click on Save the Image As and download the image. Then you can stop running the script by clicking on this icon. Like that, you have created an AI art using an image as a reference. The art that you have generated is not copyrighted and you can use it anywhere you want. If you want, then you can also sell this art as an NFT for free. If you want to know how to do it, then I have created a video explaining the same, make sure to check it out. Now if you want, you can also generate a video from frames generated while creating the artwork. You can do that by clicking on this run button. Now, click on the run icon just before the download video code lock to download the video. Like that, you have also downloaded the video of the creation of this art. So that was it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you want more of these videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to get notified 
whenever I upload a new video. I will see you soon. Bye.